right now, all of the assumptions on which we built cities for the last 50, 60 years are, it's, it's as if we took them and threw them out this window and they're all lying broken on the sidewalk. I don't think we recover unless our cities are vibrant. Because if you look at all the problems we're trying to solve today, whether it's climate change, whether it's obesity, restarting the economy, uh, providing access to opportunity in the form of jobs and education, the pathway to any of those uh, solutions runs right through successful cities. We did a study last year called Driven to the Brink, and we found that in cities that had uh, strong urban cores, housing values throughout the metro region, not just in the core, but throughout the metro region, remained more stable. Uh, the other thing we learned is that, is that housing prices were more stable uh, close to the core than at the edge. And I think those are important insights, particularly to developers who want to make sure that their projects hold their value over time. A great example is the Green Dividend, what we call the Green Dividend. It turns out that if in the top 51 metro areas with a million or more people, we could reduce VMT only one mile per day, only one, it's worth $29 billion annually to the country in terms of uh, savings in gas, savings in uh, car purchase and car repair. Now, that's pretty significant money. $29 billion, and that's not a one-time stimulus, that's a stimulus every single year. So you begin to think about the cumulative effects of that over time, and that that money now stays local and can circulate to uh, for spending on other things. That I think that's one of the one of the things we're out talking to urban leaders right now about, and I think that any developer, any architect, uh, anyone attending the CNU conference, that's a great motivator uh, for their clients and for their work. We're also working on a piece of, of research now that is showing that a higher walk score results in greater value in homes. Now, think about that. So if we, and, and we'll be producing this research over the next two or three months, if that's the case, Everything CNU has been about since its inception will be proven absolutely valuable and right. It, it will be a great case for, again, uh, the, the principles that are at the core of CNU.